Are we ready then? Right, let me try something. Are we ready then? I don't know where her Elder Scroll went. It's just gone. I hope it doesn't like cause issues. I, I just hope that it not being there doesn't like break something later. Yeah, the the other scroll order backs a quest item and it's not not there. So I, I hope that nothing breaks. Mm. At the same point, she doesn't have it. Okay, well, hopefully. See. Show inventory. She does have it. One one elder scroll. She's just not wearing it. Hmm. Yeah, she has it. It's just not. She's just not wearing it for some reason. I don't know how to get her to equip it. That's weird. The tale of the great moth priest hunt. If you think it'll help. Maybe if I trade some armor with her, she'll like swap it on. That's it? Alright. Oh well. Well at least she has it, so it won't break the quest. Just not wearing it. So... Uh, Serana, come here, please. Actually, no, let's go downstairs. We'll have an immersive conversation, you and I. Right behind you. You to do something. Oh, all right. What is it? What do you need? Got it. That's it. All right. Go ahead, sit in the chair. Nothing like a goose chase around the whole day. All right, if you say so. What do you need? Take the cheese. I'm on it. Nothing else. We can have, oh, yep, immersive, immersive. There you go. I can't talk to you from over there. Damn, <laughs> too far away. What is it? What do you know about Elder Scrolls? I mean, as much as anyone, not a lot. You'd figure a couple hundred years locked away with one would have given me some insight, but no. Turns out you don't learn much from just sleeping with something. Sleeping? I guess we'll have to keep looking for... Are you saying you want to learn more about me? Not at this rate, no. You will remember this. <laughs> Were you always a vampire? That's... a long story. I want to hear it. I guess... we kind of have to go way back. To the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? Liberalism? I mean, um, I would guess it came from a Daedric Lord. Exactly. The first vampire came from Molid Ball. She was not a willing subject, but she was still the first. Molid Ball is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift, but they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. 
How exactly did you become a vampire then? The ceremony was degrading. Let's not revisit that. But we all took part in it. Not really wholesome family activity, but I guess it's something you do when you give yourselves to a Daedric Lord. How has it affected your family? Well, you've met most of us. My father's not exactly the most stable, and eventually he drove my mother crazy with him. And it all ended with me being locked underground for who knows how long. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. You ever think about curing yourself? A cure? Why even think of it that way? I can't think of any reason I'd want to lose this gift. Especially after what I did to get it. It may have driven my family apart, but I'm still here. And I'm alive. I won't give this up. Whoops. Let's go. That's... a long. I guess... We kind of have to go... Exactly. The first Molag Ball for those willing to subjugate themselves. Do you regret and becoming a vampire? Story. Nobody's ever asked me that before. I... I don't know. I think mostly I hate what it's done to my family. It sounds like you weren't thinking clearly. I'm not sure it's really your place to judge me. To judge us. My family has its problems. But there are problems. Let's just... Move on from here, okay? She hates that. Damn. Gosh, she's being a real bitch. <laughs> Jeez. Nothing like a goose chase around the whole damned province. Right behind you. I'm the tale of the great moth. I mean, as my. You'd figure. Turns out you don't learn much from just sleeping. Not at this rate, no. Realize vampire? That's. I guess. Exactly. The first Molag Ball for those willing to subjugate themselves. He will still bestow the gift. How'd you become a vampire? The ceremony then? would. Let's not. But we all took part in it. Not really wholesome How's it family. Affected your too. family. Well, you've. And it all ended. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. Are you alright? I will be. Just give me a little time. Okay. Ding, 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 ding! Let's keep moving. It's hard to, to imagine that we're going through all this trouble for some priest. Nothing like a goose chase around the whole damned province. Oh, the stories that would be told about our glorious adventure. The tale of the great moth priest hunt. Not something I'd want to read. I was thinking the title would have been The Two Adventurers Seeing the World. Oh, I... I see. Let's, uh... Let's just keep going. She loves that. Ooh. Let's go. I think she's the first follower that has actual, like reputation stuff I need you to do something oh all right what is it what can, now can you kill him what's that what have you ow, ow, ow. Oh. Ow. Ow. Oh. ran off I suppose yep <laughs> Fight for my love. Fight for my love. Loose. Wait! Come on then! Hey, hey, hey! Stop it! Okay, now they're stuck battling each other. Okay, now they're stuck constantly battling each other. Shit. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops, I accidentally saved it. Oh, God. I don't, she, now they're stuck fighting each other constantly. Right behind you. I mean, you'd figure. Turns out you don't learn much from just sleeping with something. I guess so. 
damn it. <laughs> I actually hit the wrong button. I had saved an accident. Okay, speed run. I mean, you'd figure. Turns out you don't learn much. Not at this rate, no. That's. I guess. We. Exactly. The first vet, Molig Bo For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift. <laughs> but they. The ceremony. Let's not. But we all took part in it. Not. Well. And it all. It, it's definitely been a bad thing. I will be. Just give me a little time. The tale of the great moth. Nothing like a goose chase around. The tale of the great moth pre. Oh, let's, uh. Let's just keep going. What did you need? Alright. Got it. Saving. Why are her eyes blue? Because she's a vampire. Because she's a horker. Wasn't there a, a, a gamer poop video about someone turning into a horker? Or sleeping with a horker? Oh, wait a minute, there is a cat fort Don guard now. I can now get teleport to there. Perfect. Yay. All right, let's see. Ancient technology, that one's worth going for indeed. Let's see. There are so many markers. Wait a minute. There's so many markers I can't even see it. Where is the little quest marker thing? Um... I'm looking for the quest marker. Show one map, it's blocked out. From Plundered Mine. Plundered Mine. Wait a minute, no. Don't tell me it's in I Dragonborn. Can't even get over there yet. Yeah, I can't go over to to that place. Well shit. Uh, plundered mine. Yeah, it's in Dragonborn. I can't even go there yet. It's it's a uh, radiant quest. It's in, wait, it's in Bruma. It's in the modded area? Well, let's, um, let's go into Bruma. The modded area, sure. Yeah, we're gonna go into Cyrodiil. No, I haven't, haven't actually played this before, so it's gonna be interesting.
Apparently this area is just a bunch of side quests. There's no like main mission. What you doing? Can you please stop complaining about Lucian? You're getting really annoying. I'm close to banning you. Please stop. We gotta go through the Pale Pass to get up there. To Bruma. Uh, no, what you doing? And that's... Please stop. Last warning. Save a little time if I cut across. Though well, it's a little steep. Another burial mound here. I've played Skyrim so many times, there's still parts of Skyrim I've never been into. You just never stumble into, into those areas. The world map's so huge. And there's a cave over here, let's mark it. Quest Savior is Silvani Nithri. What? What kind of a quest is that? South Fringe Sanctum. I've never heard of that quest. Did you get the quest in S Savior of Silvani Nethri? I don't know what that quest is. I don't know if I've ever heard of that quest. a bug between Bruma and the other mod. Is anyone else wanting to get into Cyrodiil? You best speak with the Legionnaire. Quickly. But be warned, he's not the most... Oh. Someone else wanting to get into Cyrodiil? You best speak with the Legionnaire. Quickly. But be warned, he's not the most patient man. Someone else wanting ride? to get into Cyrodiil? Mm-hmm. You best speak with the Legionnaire. But be warned, he's not the most patient. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Can't disable this cart. It won't go away. Someone just wanted to get into Cyrodiil. You'd best with the Legionnaire quickly. Do, do, do. Trying to get rid of this stupid thing. The most patient man. Someone. Mm -hmm. Swanee. That guy keeps going on, 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 on. Speak. Legionnaire. Quick. Why can't this thing go away? But. Be warned. He's not the I can't select player. this goddamn thing. Why will this not go? I can't click on it. Yeah, I can't click on this goddamn tent. So it could go away. Someone else wanting to get into Cyrodiil? You'd best speak with the Legionnaire. Quickly. But be warned, he's not the most mm -hmm. patient man. Yeah, I can't get that to go away. It's fine. I tried. Someone else wanting to get into Cyrodiil? You'd best speak with the Legionnaire. Quickly. But be warned, he's not the most patient, patient man. man. So what else would I get to Cyrodiil? <clears throat> oh my god, look, Cyrodiil map. My legs ache. <sighs> this border is a restricted entry zone. State your intentions. I want to cross the border into Cyrodiil. You and hundreds of others. But I'm not authorized to let just anyone through. Border's locked down. That's that. No two ways about it. No arguing about it either. Those are the rules. You'll either need official papers or some other justification for your passage. I'm with the Imperial Legion. Oh, a fellow Legionnaire. Of course, of course. My mistake, soldier. You're free to pass through whenever you like. Wonder for the Empire, comrade. That. I'm ready. Open the gate. Understood. Just hold on one moment. Letting someone as distinguished as you through this gate... <laughs> ...makes a change from all the frustrated traitors and irate mercenaries. Loud. It's been a pleasure. Truly. Here's hoping you can do Cyrodiil some good. I'd advise you make your way down to Bruma. I hear they're dealing with a lot of problems down there. The heartland of Tamriel. She's ailing. Maybe beyond saving. But I'm sure you'll take a fair crack at it all the same. Welcome to Cyrodiil. Welcome to Cyrodiil. Oh my. We're in Bruma. That means we're going to see the Imperial City. What is it? Report, soldier. Any luck? None, sir. We persuaded him, we threatened him, we even beat him. Still wouldn't talk. God damn it. I'm surprised. Sadly, this one's stubborn. Too stubborn for his own good. Still, you did all you could. 
And that's admirable in itself. Now go. Get back to your regular shift. Uh, the the rest of the mod will probably not never be finished. At the rate damn they're it. going. I'm at a loss. Divines. How can I get that damned guy to shut up and comply? What was that conversation about? What was that conversation about? It was about possibly the most stubborn prisoner we've ever captured and incarcerated here. We caught him crossing the border a few days ago. Since then, he's been raving incoherently. Well, he's coherent, but near delusional. We've been meaning to interrogate him, but every time I've sent one of my soldiers to do it, he's refused. And, you know the worst damned part? I feel for him. He's clearly somewhere between naive and insane. And the Penitus Oculatus aren't the most merciful sort. They'll come for him soon, make no doubt about it. And when they do, he'll face a fate much worse than any of my troops could dispatch. It's not the best situation, but my hands are tied. What will happen if you can't get the information out of him here? He'll be carted off by the Penitus Oculatus, the Empire's secret police. I've heard a lot about how they operate. None of it pretty. I'd prefer to resolve this situation here before sending this guy off to them. Divines know it'd probably be a fate worse than death. But, if no one's able to successfully interrogate him... Well... My hands are tied. I don't suppose there'd be any reward for an independent interrogator. Some gold, sure. Why? You thinking of helping? I'd be happy to assist the interrogation. It's not common practice. But considering what the alternative would be, and how uncooperative this particular prisoner is, I can't really say no. He's in the prison wing of the fort. One moment. Take this. A letter proving that I've given you authorization to go in there. You wrote that fast. Best of luck. And thanks for helping us with this. Kinda catchy. What is it? Looks like you've got some sort of sickness. You should try Oh, do I have a vampire disease? Ocean or pray to the divines or something. Do they have a release date for the next uh, Beyond Skyrim mod? Hold. This is the prison wing of Fort Pale Pass. If you want to get in, I'm the one to grant you access. But I can only grant that access with the authorization of our commander, Legate Priscilius Varro. I have this document to let me in. Let me take a look at that. Hmm, seems authentic. Yeah, that's the Legate's hand, all right. Okay, head on in. I'll unlock the door. Do whatever you have to do. Oh, I should warn you. Once you head in there, we're putting the fort on high alert. Locking the doors. Just a heads up. This prisoner's been known to get a little irate during questioning. Don't want him making a break for the exit door. All right, doors open. Good luck in there. Gods know you'll need it. Okay then. I'm sure this guy will be fine. I have ways of making him talk.
What? Who are you? You are not one of these damned Imperial soldiers. Are you here to rescue me? I have some questions for you. Questions? Ha! Do your worst, dog. I will never break. Never! It's in your best interest to comply. The Pentius Oculatus. The Pentius Oculatus? After me? Oh, by Talos. What have I done? What have I got myself into? Fine, fine. I'll comply. I mean, no I won't. Talos! I... Oh, by the Divines. All right, tell me, why did you cross the border? Because Skyrim is suffering under the Empire's yoke. We're not even allowed to worship our own damned gods. You wouldn't understand. You're an Imperial dog, a toady for the Dalmor. But we deserve freedom. And to truly achieve freedom, we need to end the Empire. Strike at its heart, Zero Day. The Imperial City, and the rest will crumble. Oh, Talos, here comes the damn jailer. Just what I needed. Someone else to rub salt in the wound. I see your interrogation's going well. Better than any of the other sops that I've tried, at any rate. Bloody jailer, come to gawk at the poor, helpless Stormcloak. You'll pay, damned Imperial! You'll all pay! You say that every day. Still haven't found a way to break through those bars, though, have you? The information you've gotten out of him so far? Good work. You've gotten the basics out of him, but the Legate needs to know everything we can possibly extract. So... Well, best not let the prisoner hear our little chat. Follow me. Talk to you later. Uh, the Yasht Guide is for the Yasht mod, which I don't like, so... Don't use that guide if you're not going to use the Ashed. What is it? Um. Uh oh. Uh oh. They all have the, uh,. The bug. Thought we needed to get away from prying ears. Last thing we need is to let the prisoner in on our techniques. Now we know the guy's plot. Heard it straight from the horse's mouth. But we need to know more. This time you need to take on a few different lines of attack. Find out who sent him, if he came with anyone else, and where they may be. And try not to lose track of time. The Petitus Oculatus will be here soon, and the Legate wants us to get the information out of him, not them. Good luck. See you. Yeah, I don't know if that's a bug with Beyond Bruma or if it's just a conflict with um, Wicco. You know what? While you were back there exchanging poisonous words with your jailer friend, I've decided I'm not talking. Mm-hmm. No more! I like to think of philosophy as a way of conclusively resolving... Whose orders do you follow? It's in your best interest to comply. If you want R.K.'s favor, you will tell me what I want. Fine, fine. I crossed the border through Serpent's Trail. An old smuggling route. I... We're not part of the main Stormcloak army. 
At least, you know, any more. We call ourselves the Stormcloak Breakaways. Don't resist. Tell me the whereabouts of your accomplices, too. Ha! Trying to sway me with your honeyed words? Afraid it's not going to work. I will smite you with RK's might if you do not tell me. All right, all right. You need to get violent. There are others. Not sure how many. I was never in command, just their forward scout. One of them, at any rate. <laughs> but I know of at least six others. Three of them crossed the border, came down here, not reported back in weeks. The others, three of them, waiting on the Skyrim side of the border, lying in wait, waiting for my report. Given that I've been stuck in here for days, bet they're running out of patience right quick. Let's end this interrogation here. <laughs> Serana, can you get out of there, baby girl? It's only certain people that are doing that, not everyone. Like, this guy's fine. But he has connections. The prisoner is part of the organization called the Stormcloak Clo Breakaways. Stormcloak Breakaways, eh? Hmm. So even Ulfric Stormcloaks aren't extreme enough for some of his flunkies. Pfft. Stir crazy Nords. He has six accomplices now, maybe more. Six accomplices? Hmm. Not quite an army, but a formidable force given a clever and able commander. That's all I know. I see. Well, thank you, I... What the... Quick, follow me! Quickly, get the door open! Or the jailer is gonna bootlicker come back! Ah, watch where you're going! Shut up and keep it down! I'm working on it. But turns out, buying stacks of black market invisibility potions leaves little coin for lost things. What's going on here? Hang on. Ah, you Look there! A fight! You'll never live here alive! Gotcha! Coward! Stand us mercy! Stormcloaks have breached the fort! I'll stand watch here and keep an eye on that damned prisoner. Go find the legate. Warn him. Let What's going on? Move to player one. How do I how do I move her to me? What's the command? To get her out of there? <laughs> She's stuck behind what the wall. What happened here? How did you get out of your cell? Player dot move to That's not either. Player dot move to me. Hello. Hi. Hope, hope more of you aren't broken like that. Well, as soon as I walk out, she should come out, hopefully. Final one legged Priscillus. Yeah, when I leave, she'll probably, like, somehow port magically. <laughs> mm 
Yep. Yeah, if, if, if NPCs are walking along a nav mesh and then it gets interrupted, they will just port through whatever is blocking their path to get to the other side. It's stupid. Oh. We have to ward him. Gotcha. Looks like that was the last of them. What in oblivion are you doing? Chopping her head off, you know, as you do. Got him? Good. Stupid storm cloak. Careful yeah, with that right. fire. down. Yeah, I'm with the Legion, I'm not with the crybabies. Salted. Soldier, report. Where's the prisoner? Still in his cell. That's a relief. <laughs> I guess these blasted storm cloaks are trying to rescue that damned prisoner. Divides forsake them. And Dagon takes you. Stay on alert, everyone. Might be more of these storm cloaks yet. That damn horse. Oculatus. Yes, yes. We are the Penitus Oculatus. A thrill for soldiers posted in a frigid backwater such as this, I'm sure. The prisoner. Now, Varro. I... this one, here. I hired them to interrogate him after our own efforts proved fruitless. I suggest you two have a conversation first. A legate's disobeying command. You can't simply let him... Enough. Come then. Let us speak. And see whether or not your findings are as interesting as the Legate seems to believe. So, what did you discover? How many accomplices does he have? Where are they active? What faction does he belong to? Stormcloak Breakaways. They're active on both sides of the border. Stormcloak Breakaways. Interesting. But more importantly, accomplices. While this ill-fated little prison break revealed that much, the prisoner's confession suggests more widespread activity than previously assumed. Ah, it seems the prisoner's here now. I must say, Leggett, your operation is quite efficient. Are you really going to take him away? 
His plot was stupid. There's no way he could have done it. He might be insane for all we know. The security of the Empire comes before all else, Legate. You will come to understand this in time. You then! You may be a lapdog of the Imperials, but it's not too late! Put down these damned Imperials! Free me! Don't let them cut me away! Enough of these foolish overtures. This way. Get out of here, you Stormcloak scum. Yeah. Not exactly the outcome I was hoping for. But the Empire is what it is. The best damned hope for Tamriel, warts and all. Hell yeah. Still, you did what I asked of you, and accomplished it well. Here's your payment. I'll try not to think of the poor guy's fate. Not even a Stormcloak deserves to suffer the Penitus Oculatus' interrogation techniques. What's like being on duty here? It's rough and tumble, to say the least. This place is damned freezing. I don't tend to cross the border. This is as close as I get to the cold climes of the Nord homeland. I guess the Nords serving with us are used to this. They laugh it off while they rub their beards and puff their chests. But I can't stand it. If you mean the border itself, though, few people tend to come through. The Empire does know how to lock down a border when it tries, so we're here mostly as a last resort. Until next time. All right, let's go. What a nice little side quest. Yeah, the voice acting's really good in this mod. It's a shame that some people's mics are bad, which ruins it. But uh, for people that have good mics and good voices, it's actually really good. Like that one lady's voice is pretty mediocre. I mean, her uh, quality of her voice because of the microphone. See, uh, Bethesda should hire this team to make a... Uh... Imagine if Bethesda hired this team to make DLC for their games. That would be awesome. Give them full-time jobs. Have them make DLC for the game. Release it at like 10 bucks. Or 20 bucks if it's big. Snowstone Rest. That old Oblivion style uh, house is cute. Hey, watch it. I don't have to take that from you. Nah, I don't think so. The music finally went away. Thank By God. Ismir, you would pay for that? The name's Orna. Orna the Bright Eyed. Bart by trade. In the mood to be regaled with song? What are your thoughts on the current events? Oh, like politics? Uh, well, it's no secret that the Empire and now the Merry Dominion are plotting against each other, even if neither of them care to admit it. People are doomsaying, saying that Cyrodiil is about to descend into another great war. I don't know what to make of it, and I don't much like contemplating my own death, so I try not to think about it too much why am I stuck Don't in delay. combat Bug has been there since goddamn uh, Morrowind. You get stuck in combat sometimes. That bug's been in there since Morrowind. Yeah, the inf the stuck in combat bug has been in there for 
so long now. Yeah, it happens in every one of the games. Fallout, Oblivion, Skyrim. I think it happens in Fallout 76 too, even. <laughs> the only way to get rid of it is to exit the engine and go back in. See, now I don't hear the music anymore. Yeah. Sorry. There we go. Good afternoon. Why set up here? Why run an inn in the rear end of the Gerald Mountains? I suppose that's a valid question as any. I built this place board by board, you know. Well, I should have given old Barney some credit. He was the moral support I needed when the going was tough. Back in the day, this place used to be an absolute hive of activity. Incredibly busy and incredibly lucrative. Lots of patrons and even more coin. You know, travelers going between Cyrodiil and Skyrim and all that. Sadly, the Empire put a stop to that. Instituting tight border control with the outbreak of the Civil War. But Snowstone Rest is, and always has been, my prize. And, in all honesty, my true home. Even if it doesn't get much business these days. Who was old Barnius? My old dog. I love dogs. Most faithful companions a man can have. He died a few years ago. The cold got to him. Aww. He never liked the cold. Was used to the temperate climbs down south. He was my truest friend. And now he's gone. The customers at least used to distract me, but now I don't even have them. Speaking of which, I've been meaning to leave an offering at his grave. Just behind the inn. Something to pay my respects. Remember a lifelong loss, you know. Problem is, I'm not really up to going around and gathering the stuff together. The wilderness is dangerous, and I don't want to die to a timber wolf or an ogre, or who knows what else. I'll help you. Thank you, traveler. You are truly a generous soul. I'll reward you with what little coin I can spare. Just to say thanks. If you could gather some mother word for me, I'd be able to lay an offering for old Barnius. Just a few should do. Return the mother word to me, and I'll be able to leave an offering and feel a little more at peace for a few more years. Hi. Damn it, all. Run out of Cyrodiil, all for daring to offend Dorina's band of criminals and cut purses. What's wrong? What's wrong? I'm being forced to flee my home. That's what's wrong. All because of those damned cutters. I got on their bad side, angered the wrong people, fought a little bit too tirelessly when they attacked the wagon I was escorting. Long story short, I need out of Cyrodiil. They're chasing me as we speak. I just stopped in here to get a bit of Nord fire in my belly for the trip. Actually, I hate to ask this of you, but could you deliver this note to my brother, Holgard? He runs Northern Arms, the smithy in Bruma. Sure, I'll deliver it. What do I have what do I have to do? Save the world? Of course I can be a delivery man. Thank you so much, traveler. I'd be happy to give you directions to Bruma if you need them. Once you get to the city, just find the smithy, Northern Arms. It's on the north side of town. Best of luck, friend. And thank you. Radiant quest. I like this this mod so far. Like, oh my god, this is the inns from Oblivion, isn't it? This is the same setup. Oh 
Oh my god, the memories. Hello. This place seems quiet. Because the Empire's got the border locked up tighter than a Khajiit skooma horde. Normally, this inn would be a hive of activity as travelers stream down the Gerald's, heading to Cyrodiil. Now it's just an inn in the middle of nowhere. And I'm alone. Even more so since I lost old Barnius. You seem very lonely. Are you alright? I am. Especially since I lost old Bonius. Fine companion he was. A fine companion. Actually, I hate to impose, Traveler, but if you ever come upon a stray in the wilderness, would you mind thinking of me? I don't have much coin to go buying a dog, but I could really use the company. Okay. Goodbye. Until next time. I like this mod already. It's cute. It's so interesting having different voice actors too. Instead of it all being the same the same handful of voice actors. Old Barnabas. No man could have asked for a truer or more loyal companion. You'll be sorely missed, old friend. Sorely missed. Rest in peace, old fluffball. I don't know if the light of RK reaches dogs like it does men. But here's hoping it does, old friend. Here's hoping it does. Aww. Light of RK will reach you. I'll make sure of it. Wolf looks different. It's so snowy over here. So it looks like uh, this mod goes just to the edge. So we can't go to the Imperial City. But we go to Bruma. And a, whatever this area is over here. That's Morrowind over there. Oh, I sense bandits. Whatever shall I do? Bad kitty. Wait. Come on then. Ow, ow, ow. Dang. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was exhilarating. Uh, that he went invisible. Knocked his head clean off. 